Today we're going to get the calibers off this uh, D-Max. We're going to put new, uh, new rubber kits in them. Get the kits in there. Just do all the fluid and such. All the bolts to take it off were 12 mil, and the bleeders are 8. I think these are 14s. I noticed on these last time. Somebody did the brakes on it, they had to push it in with a C clamp. So we're gonna do the rubbers and that to make sure it's nice and free and not sticky. You'll probably loosen them on the bike if you didn't have a vice again. Pads themselves are fine, isn't Yeah, it? the customer just put new pads on us. Oh, okay. They seem to work some last one we got Brakes and so we'll wire wheel them up nice and clean, and we'll clean all in here where the pads rides. <clears throat> Once I pop these cylinders out, you'll see underneath these rubbers I'm going to take out the fluid gets behind them and uh, turns into a white crystallized powder kind of kind of stuff, and that's what sticks the the O ring actually brings these back in when you let off the brakes. If it's a single piston, you can just pop them out by air in the bleeder, but I'm going to try and put this back together temporarily and just blow out one piston at a time. And That's kind of the stuff that you'll see behind the O-rings inside the car.
stick this in there so I can put all things out of them for a while. Rubber tip hoo ha. A rubber tip hoo ha, right? What was the idea that air was supposed to blow that one out? Same as the hydraulics, yeah. Pneumatic. It's not plan B, it's just you gotta get the move. Yeah. When I get them cleaned up, I'll show you that they'll move in and out. You can really look at them in and out with your fingers fairly easy. Inside the banjo bolt, so you know it's um, all right. So I just have to line back up and that with pads or anything in there. Just try to pump it out with a grout. Definitely. This is just a regular bolt. You put in where the banjo, same thing. Put it in where the banjo bolt goes. I'm going to put the air just to this side now because the other side's ready to go. This is why they say to change the brake fluid every couple of years. Because it goes like this. Do some cakes right on. I feel like I can't just push this in right now. I need the seat plan. too far for the seat lamp it was yeah this one just flexes it all when I put the
you see that flex in there? That... Like the old brake pad? Yeah. See it? Yeah. It's actually easier to bend that tool than it is to pump that other. Do the brakes have been dragging or anything on it? Well, that's or... what happens, right? Again. All that happens is the fluid goes in here, pushes this piston out. Yeah. And then these O-rings are square. It's kind of stuck to the side of it, so it pulls the O-ring out with it a bit. Yeah. And then all you're dependent on to bring the piston back in is lowering and then uh, so once it gets like this of course the so ring can't bring it back in right I was hoping to find the grease fitting that would uh, be the same as the bleeder kind of thing, but that's what's what. What would that have done? There was no pump grease in there. And oh, gotcha. Push it out that way. Yeah, like these, see them tiny holes? I don't know how tiny it gets. That's how the brake fluid gets from this one to. Oh, to the other side, mm -hmm. right. I leave for a second to go in some screws and I come back and the welder's on. What are we up to? The plan is I'm gonna screw this down to the bench just to block off them holes somewhat. And just to separate the two. It's gonna be one at a time. I'm going to take the old leader because I got new ones with the kit. I'm going to try and weld this like such so that the bleeders are grease nipple. And hopefully, just be able to pump it out with the grease gun. I've done it like lots of times, the calibers aren't double sided like this, and it's uh, much easier. I'm thinking this is the way to do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, in the manual, yeah. it's a way to do it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the end of the day. We'll do it pretty well. You can see it? Yeah. Backside for sure. This is the one that's 
we got to move with the bike's hydraulics. Oh yeah, because the other one wasn't moving at all. Yeah, this way we're screwed. It's being the ass because you gotta deal with the grease. But... Didn't look like we had any other options at this point. I mean, you've seen it on the bike. It wouldn't. It wouldn't do it. Problem is, when you let off to do the next pump on the brakes, there you lost some pressure. Right. So you never. This just keeps as hard as you can squeeze it. The, uh... Most bikes, more than you know, from the 90s or anything, early 2000s, even now, need this done. Four calories. Just that time of your life, basically? Yeah. You know, this one, these calories are probably 700 bucks each or something crazy like that. But a lot of bikes have. Try to get in here. You do this one. <clears throat> Run it a grease? Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, just the right amount to the first one, apparently. Huh? That's good, I guess. stuff for this one. Oh yeah. Right, so this is the side that takes the banjo bolts. Oh yeah, I had the the ten mil. Oh you gotta plug it. Ten that. mil fine thread bolt. That's when you put the Teflon on earlier? Yeah. Oh, it's moving. It's gonna be so gross to clean up that. Yep. <laughs> well, there is a tool that kind of some sort of extractor. I'm not sure what it's called, but anyways, the circle that fits in there as you turn it, another you know tries to expand. Okay. They're not for the brakes, but would work. Anyways, they work great. Don't have one of those in stock though. Okay. How are you going to turn the light on? Uh, right, so I reveal.
go. Yep. Okay, just zoom in out. Yeah, I touched it. That was a mission and a half, as far as I'm concerned. We did, yes. <laughs> oh, no. That was research, development, yeah. and manufacturing the tool. <laughs> Six pounds of grease in a container here. You have to just get in there and clean it out with a cloth or anything? Yeah, we'll get it all cleaned out. Brush or whatever. Put together. Ideally, all this can happen in about an hour if it's not too stubborn. And this one you can see that's that's your hydraulic seal. This one's kind of like a dust seal. You see the shape of it there. It's all misformed and pushed up out of the groove in that. Yep. That'd be the that'd be the bad spot. Well, sure it's bad right around. But... Do those seals come with the kits? Yeah, like this. See, these seals basically are the kit. Oh, this one's the issue. Oh, wow. See all the crusties and that. See in them. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of this shit in there. You think that you got it all? And you probably don't. So you have to clean those really good. Yeah, you have to screw them. This is the important part. It's not just that the rubber, the rubbers weren't leaking or anything like that. They're just... Uh, just getting forced out by all that shit into the piston, making it stick. And like the fact that that's all shit under that one, all that shit came from the other side of this one, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Oh, it pushed it through, or like around it to the other side. You have to get there somewhere, all right? Yeah. It doesn't come from the other side. It's a brake glue. That's crazy. Like you say, I knew these were going to be like this just by the fact that Buddy had to use something a C clamp to push it back in. Yeah. We'll see in a bit here that there should be no need or anything like that. So really, like that should have been done last time. I was time. using the vice grips and stuff, but that's because it's already a mess. So yeah. It's just a little tiny torque set of a screwdriver set. I just heated it up and bent it so I could scrape with the teeth there on the side. So it's easy to get the bottom there like that, but it's hard to get the shit that's stuck on the side there. This happens with cars and stuff too. People ask you if you want your brake fluid changed. It's it's not always a scam. Sometimes these are six, seven hundred dollars a piece times three, and then you got the same kind of thing goes on in the master cylinder sometimes. So bottles of brake fluid are pretty cheap compared to that. 
Yeah, for sure. The idea is if you do it every two years, yeah, this never happens. Anyways, it'll go on for a while. Uh, <laughs> Lots of clean. Yeah. You can soak it and carry clean or something, but sometimes it takes the paint off, and honestly, it, it, it never just gets it all off. It's still a lot of manual labor. Yeah. These guys, you can replace these too, but. Unless they're real corroded, which sometimes you don't know until you're in there, but they clean up good. Crazy difference. Yep. So we parking it there. Brake pads that have to be gone before that. Might be aluminum corroded to us. Here's your before shot. So I don't dig or anything. What's the deal with the brass? It's just soft? Yeah. It's softer than most of the metal. Dude. More digging. What is it? More digging. Yeah. The digging here is key if you can see in there. Come. Please take a lunch break. Looks good to me. I don't usually bother soaking them anymore. I usually scrape the ship, but they're in real bad shape either. All right, so we got them all cleaned up and the grooves scraped out. And this is the kind of shit that was coming out of them. About 10 times more than that though. <laughs> I already got some brake fluid in the groove just to Really bad. Yeah, you can see where they start to get like pushed out and, and ripped. These look pretty bad when they got the rubber all stuck to them and you first take them out, but they clean up nice. 
I told you why, <clears throat> why I wheeled it yesterday. Yep. It's, it's all it takes to put them in now. Seat lamp or whatnot. You don't need this special video, you can just use the brake fluid. But... <clears throat> oh, that just came with the kit, wasn't it? Yeah. It makes a crazy difference just to yeah. run it across the wheeler. Let's get it straight. Other thing pushing it out with the grease, it avoids any marks or damage to the pistons whatsoever. It's just really gross. I used to spend a bit of time earlier scrubbing those out too. Yeah, it took one side was really crusty. It had like oh, crazy, crazy amount of that dust in it. And you think you got it all off, and, and then next time around, it's uh, you know, you're just scraping another pile out and for a while. <laughs> it's hard to see in there. You got to spin it on all kinds of angles to see what you can see in the grooves. Yeah, I definitely either was in their edge like here you can't really see it so you gotta just kinda keep scraping. Scraping, yeah. Yeah, yeah there was definitely a lot of scraping and cleaning. For, said, this part is a of the screwdriver that I bent here. Works really good. The tip's hard and you got the little grooves on there. Yeah. Kinda reminds well, me of these little picks and Kind of reminds me of like a little dentist pick or something. See where the pads are sticking there. Oh, yeah. Really brake fluid leaking around the nose heels. Tell 
you know, like the pads themselves are in good condition. Yeah. The pieces or oh, the hardware on it isn't. Readers, rubbers. Delicious. Small, small amount of the brake crease just on this edge. Oh, I do. Basically, I'll wipe it off so it just, just keeps it moving nice on these this slides on this flap right here. Okay. That stops it from sticking all that loose paint to us. Doesn't help in any of No. No, like could that have been flaking off getting in there too? Oh, it was sticking for sure. Much on dirt to stick in with it. Do they just like pop in there? They don't. Oh, there's two little clips that go right here. See the hole there? Yep. There's one going there. Okay. Clips. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like it's almost like a little cotter pin thing, aren't they? Yeah. Gadget for bumping out the pistons. <laughs> Another Mac custom tool to add to the collection. Oh, so this is ready to go back on the bike. Yep.
left now bleeding them. Just bleeding it, yeah. Clean all the blood off of that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Are these hard to bleed, like a drink? Yeah, sometimes they go, sometimes they go. Probably like my least favorite thing is bleeding breaks with them. So there we have uh, the rear brake caliber, I guess, rebuild. This uh, particular one here is a 1995 Yamaha VMAX 1200. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in with us. Uh, leave us a comment, like this video, um, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.